started lining up bright and early this morning to get inside the event. One family drove all the way from Wisconsin just to see Hillary Clinton today. Reporter Lindsay Thies joins us live now. Lindsay? Well, Jennifer, as you can see, the crowd has already been getting hyped up, and we're beginning to hear from speakers that are continuing to hype up that crowd. And like you mentioned, people in the crowd that traveled hours, like a, a mother who we spoke with this morning who traveled six hours from La Crosse, Wisconsin, with her two kids, uh, getting here as early as 5 o'clock this morning. You know, several folks in the crowd, children, high school students, many of them not even old enough to vote yet, but still think that this is such a historical significance, and that's why they're here. So far, there are hundreds of people that we've kind of eyeballed in the gymnasium at Omaha North. We're also told that there are several overflow rooms with a live video feed that will be able to see uh, the speech. Now, folks that we've spoken with mostly are staunch Hillary Clinton supporters, so she's speaking to a very friendly crowd here. Uh, but it, again, is a crowd that is very anxious and interested to hear what she's saying, and a very local crowd. You know, earlier we had uh, choir students from Omaha North performing the national anthem at Omaha North High School student also led in the pledge and there are football team members and students all here in the stage and also teachers. One teacher that we spoke with, a new teacher at Omaha North this year, Michaela Marks. I am new faculty here at North High and I'm super excited about it and when I heard that Hillary was coming and we got VIP treatment, I thought there's no way I could pass this up. Now, back out here live, again, Clinton set to begin speaking sometime after 445. We're also expect to hear um, an introduction from Warren Buffett. Not exactly sure what he's going to say, but uh, stay tuned later on coming up at 430. I'm going to tell you what some people have uh, told us they're hoping to hear, not just from Clinton, but from Warren Buffett as well. For now, we're live. 36 and Ames. Going to send it back to you.